opinion. Listen, again, let me be clear. This isn't a Shrek 2, like, hate session. I love Shrek 2. But Shrek 1 is just better. The thing about... Here, here's the difference, okay? Just so it's not like I'm just like, oh, it's just better because it's better. No. I'm going to use this now because if I'm face down, then I can get targeted by some other shit. Um, all right, listen. Shrek 2 is better for sure. Uh, <laughs> democracy says you're wrong. But, um, anyway. No, but I, I gotta get you on, like, I gotta get you on call. And just, I got, I, I wanna hear your side of the story. Cause again, I, I fuck with Shrek 2. It's just not better than Shrek 1. Period. I mean, it's just facts. And take notes. All right, but here's the thing about Shrek 1 versus Shrek 2. Shrek 2, compared to Shrek 1, Shrek 2 introduces... I guess both movies introduce... Because Shrek 1 is, you know, the introduction. It's, you know, it has to introduce new characters because it's that's its job as the new fucking thing on the block. And then Shrek 2 introduces even more characters. And then it takes Shrek out of, you know, out of the swamp, out of his comfort zone. And then it's more of a, you know... He's trying to impress the parents and shit. Doesn't get along with them. I get it. It hasn't been that long since I've seen Shrek 2. I think what you're thinking of is you're thinking of like the... I need a hero. I get it. Catchy. Well, let me hit you with a little... Somebody once told me the world is gonna... Bro, come on now. When when Shrek opens the book and he's reading the story at the very beginning, I don't give a fuck. Listen, when he's opening and reading the book, come on. Uh, no, and we'll do that. <laughs> when he says, "What a load of," and then the toilet flushes. If that's not one of the most intricate bars that I've ever heard in my fucking life. He says, what a load of, it's implied that it's shit because he flushes the toilet and that's the bleep. That is fucking genius, bro. Tell me, tell me anything Shrek 2 has that's like that. Puss in Boots was introduced in Shrek 2. Okay. And let's talk about villains. I think Lord Farquaad was a more and again, I'm not saying I like Lord Farquaad. You're not supposed to like the villain. Lord Farquaad did a better job as a villain than what? Fucking Prince Charming and fucking the fairy godmother. I like the fairy godmother. Y'all, there's just like too many random fucking shits going on. Shrek 1 is just overall a more memorable movie. In my opinion. Shrug One's wrestling match. Oh, and the, it's just it. I feel like there's more like adult humor. Not that it's like super adult humor, but like there's like little shit. There's like light shit where it's like, oh, that fucking sucks. But um, you're just old. It's okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You bet. Chill out. Chill out, what, you're like a fucking year younger than me? I end my turn. Look, into my trap. what else? Just don't my turn. God, I could just, I could just, and it, it's introducing like, Shrek is a character who's like, he, I feel like Shrek changes more in Shrek one than he does in Shrek two. So there's more of a character arc in Shrek one than in Shrek two. I'm 26. You're what, 24? Or what, are you a fucking fetus? What, what, what? 23, okay. So, fetus. Anyway. um, What did I walk into? We're talking about Shrek 1 compared to Shrek 2. And full disclosure, I like Shrek 2 and I like Shrek 1. 
I think anything after both of those movies is where shit went downhill. Just Shrek 1 is better. It's just better. Alright. I definitely lost this duel. So that sucks. Shrek 2 has magic. Okay, before... Did you not remember Donkey flying when they first introduced him? Also, hello, he's a talking donkey. Okay, so that's not magic. My bad. My bad. A donkey fucking floating is not magic enough for Nova. My bad. My bad. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. They're literally fairy tale creatures. Not magic enough. My bad. Not, not magic enough. Fiona turns into a fucking ogre because she was cursed by magic, but that's not magic enough. No, no, no. Okay, I got you. No, not magic enough. No. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. In Shrek 2, I don't. Okay, this might just be me. Okay, this is this is where it might get a little too, you know, it's just personal bias maybe. Um. I fucking lost, by the way. This is where it might become a little personal. Bias. Okay. Listen. Listen. And again, this doesn't have to be like Shrek 2 slander. I'm just saying Shrek 1 is a little bit better, you know? Listen. But this is where the little bias comes in. I hate moments in movies where us as the viewer completely understands... The, like Shrek 2 has this big moment where this there's this big misunderstanding where I hated that whole fucking arc where Fiona is gets tricked by fucking uh Prince Charming that he Shrek turned into a human. That whole arc pissed me off. I don't know what it was about it, but just watching when I get to that part of the movie, that's when I'm just like, oh, here we fucking go. She's going to think like, like, that's not Shrek, but it's like, you know what I mean? I fucking hated that part, bro. That part drove me crazy. And again, that that's like just personal. But like, I hate when me as the viewer, like, I know I'm like, no, that's not Shrek. It's fucking, that's, that's Prince Charming, man. It's, you can see Shrek in his human form. So, you know what I'm saying? I hated that moment. That moment just annoyed me. Just like it, it, it literally gives me like this uncomfortable fucking feeling that I don't like. And guess what? Does Shrek ever do that? No. Olgoters are like onions. Why they stink? Like the, the whole fucking back and forth dynamic between Shrek and Donkey, and then the dragon, and then the theme song, and then uh, Shrek going down the fucking vent or sliding down, and then his his nuts hit the fucking vent, and then just just the music. Uh, slowly walking up to fiona to you know be the true love's first kiss but then like when he gets there he just just shakes her hey let's go and then you know all that shit man don't get me started and then when they're on the fucking bridge and then he's like swinging the bridge and then donkey's like slowly backing up all scared then he gets there he's like i'll do donkey that'll do bro it just hits different it's so much it's just more iconic it's just more iconic like Shrek 2 is just it's a great movie and they did exactly what a sequel should do but it's not it it will never be more iconic than Shrek 1 Shrek 2 has some good moments too let me let me preach for Shrek 2 a little bit too because I'm not like I'm not hating on Shrek 2 okay Shrek 2 got the I need a hero song obviously at the end beautiful climactic moment you had fucking mongo or whatever the fuck he is the big gingerbread man uh be good all that shit uh donkey had a few funny lines like when he fucking turned into you know the horse he was like and now we're sexy like i like that you know what i'm saying uh puss in boots was a good addition to the crew um When they're at the dinner table and they're like, 
they're all yelling at each other. Harold, and then Donkey yells his own name, Donkey, and then the food lands. I, I, I know these movies. Shrek. I, I don't think you guys understand. Shrek is like near and dear to my fucking heart. I used to just watch Shrek every fucking day. Not just Shrek one, Shrek two as well. Okay. But as a professional watcher of both movies, Shrek 2 better. Better get the fuck out of the way because Shrek 1 is better. <laughs> Shrek 2 better. Get out the way because Shrek 1 is here. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> you might have seen a house fly. Maybe even a super fly. But I bet you ain't never seen a donkey fly. Shrek 1 is better, bro. Period. Shrek 1 is better. Don't talk about Shrek 4. That's got to be a joke. Shrek 3 is the best. Stop. Shrek 1 and 2 are on a pedestal up here. Everything else is somewhere the fuck down here. <laughs> Nightbot just body Nova. <laughs> What were you trying to post? I can't even see it. He's probably posting some cap. Oh, what clip are you talking about, Nova? I don't know what you're talking about. Nova, this is, if you really bout it, if you really want to defend Shrek, and at some point, I'm telling, like the debates just got to happen. We'll just go back and forth respectfully, you know? And then you'll lose. Just got back. How did it go? I have to watch the films. But that's the thing. Like, it's okay if after you watch the films, you're like, man, he's just right. Shrek 1 is just, just better. You know? Just better. And that's fine. Shrek 2. Shrek 2. All right. Shrek 2 does a lot where I feel like they're trying to, you know, okay, this is the way I imagine it. Shrek 1 is just more humble. Shrek 1 does what it does with the characters, has a nice uh, balance in progression of the story and character arcs. That's Shrek 1. Shrek 2, I can tell when they're at like the fucking table, they're like, okay, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do this and they're gonna fucking go far, far away and there's gonna be all these, you know, there's gonna be fucking Rapunzel and then there's gonna be, you know, all these people, you know, all the different fairy tale people, all the princesses are gonna have their own place and then, uh, oh, oh what if Shrek, like, uh, you know, he doesn't like the dad and then like, and then, and then the fucking world and they fucking transform into fucking humans. And, and, and then after that, like Prince Charming and then Prince Charming's there. Oh, and by the way, um, th th there's a fairy godmother. And it's just like, they're like, let's just do all of this shit and just throw it into a movie. And it came out good. Came out good. I, I, I like Shrek too, but I'm just saying Shrek one was just, it just, it's just a more even keeled, iconic movie. Whereas the other one was just like, let's just throw in a bunch of like crazy shit and I'm sure it'll work. They even have like a cops bit. Y'all remember that? Like it was cops, but they called it knights or something like that. Where like Shrek gets arrested. No, I do like that Shrek 2 expanded on the universe. I just like the first one more. Do, 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 do. Welcome to Lots of Your Birthday Town. We have some rules, let us lay them down. 
Bro, when they said shine your shoes, wipe your, showed their ass, and then turn around and said face, I was like, this shit is iconic. This shit is legendary. What the fuck? Shine your shoes, wipe your, show their ass. But then they said face. Oh my God. Come on, bro. Oh, oh, oh. In Bro, oh, we just sell this over a pint. No. All right, then. Uh, uh, uh. Come on. And then they just start fucking. I don't give a damn about your reputation. Bro. Come on, bro. Don't get me started. I Shrek 1 is just so fucking dope oh and then the fucking robin hood just coming out of nowhere with the fucking um <laughs> i would save you from this uh beast oh and then when donkey's looking up at shrek when they first meet take a look at me what am i uh really tall <laughs> oh my god bro i gotta watch Shrek one every day of my life bro you want to hold her? You want to please her? Then you got to, got to, bro. I'm set. Come on. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God. If there's just, there's, all right. Can we at least admit this? Even if you're on the Shrek 2 side, okay? Even if you're on Shrek 2 side. Can we admit that Shrek 1 has way more memorable lines? Yeah, it's more quotable. It's way more quotable. To me, it's a better movie as well. But even if you're on Shrek 2 side, this is what you niggas remember from Shrek 2. And are we there yet? And then a couple songs. That's what you motherfuckers remember from Shrek 2. For five minutes, can you not be yourself? For five minutes! <laughs> that part was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm not hating. You didn't you didn't have any rebuttal. You didn't have a rebuttal. Senorita. Yes, yeah, super quotable cool with the turn around. <laughs> there you go. Slowly shifting over to the light. It's all right. Come on. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, one other thing that was, I guess, pretty quotable from Shrek 2 is <laughs> he endured blistering winds, scorching deserts, climbed to the highest bloody room of the. Bro, and they had a joke. That I can't repeat. When they describe the wolf, some blank wolf, but in 2021, if I said, yeah, I can't even repeat that because that's actually an issue. How was your tattoo session? It was cool. It, it took a long time, but it was cool. I want to forget about Shrek 3, honestly. <laughs> the okay they don't even have dental that that part was pretty fucking funny from shrek 2 <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah when they're uh breaking into the um not breaking in but they're walking in and they're acting like they're like the inspectors or whatever of the fucking factory where they're making the potions and shit they don't even have that they don't even have dental and then they just like walk in that shit was funny as fuck and then Donkey when he's like, huh, 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 huh? That shit was funny. Again, this isn't a Shrek 2 hate fest, bro. I love Shrek 2. Shrek 1 is better. What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I gotta I gotta get this new Discord set up, man. I need a Discord. 
for subs and shit. Cause we gotta we gotta watch movies and in, in like you know what I'm saying we gotta watch some movies. Oh, that's another quotable from uh, Shrek too. I'm an ogre. Rah! When Donkey's like fucking mocking him. <laughs> What's your favorite animated movie? Shrek. Probably. Probably Shrek. Old gutters are like onions. <laughs> Old gutters are not like cakes. How did the Robin Hood song go? Oh, it's the fucking doggy. Blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, red thorns. Man, this would be so much easier if I wasn't colorblind. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. I think it's because I related to Shrek, man. <laughs> Me and Shrek. And Shrek 1, man. Just like... We were just like the same person, man. Me and Shrek was the same guy. This is the part where you run away. <gasps> oh, really? You in what army? dog i i know all like i damn near know the whole fucking shrek movie damn near god i just want to watch that movie now it really is like any quote i say from shrek like you guys like you'll instant you'll know exactly the scene about when it happens in the movie and lord farquaad was an underrated villain Obviously, you don't like him because he's a villain, but like as a villain, he's a he's a good villain. You know what I mean? <laughs> run, run, run as fast as you can. Oh, and remember, pick number three, my lord. But he puts up like two fingers or something like that. <laughs> and then like in the background, you just look at him. and He's just like looking at his fingers, trying to like figure out how many fingers he was supposed to put up. Do you know? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. Yes, I know the Muffin. You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> oh, Shrek 2 is good too, man. But yeah, Shrek 1, man. It's just, it's just, it's hard to top. It's hard to top. Like, that movie is just like... And it's not like I'm just pitting it up against Shrek 2. Like, Shrek 1 is better than almost any other animated movie as well. 